here we go. Hey guys, this is Jay Donovan from TechCrunch. I'm here with Peter Meyer, the CTO of Matayo, and he's going to show us a, a pretty interesting uh, app they just developed. It's, it's live in the, the Apple App Store, I believe, and uh, it's called Matayo Creator Mobile. Now, this is what this app does is it, it allows you to map uh, a space any little space with uh, coordinates so that you can later associate content with different planes in that space. And, and Peter's going to show us uh, a little bit about how this works. So Peter, just show us how, show us how this thing works. Okay. So uh, what's new about uh, the technology we're giving away for free now is that it's not just able to work with flat objects, but also three-dimensional stuff. So we've built this you know, small little model of a city and of course you can see it's you know not just flat stuff like a poster or a magazine but there's things coming out and uh, it could be anything three-dimensional and of course um, it, it's a bit more difficult to, to teach um, the technology how to work with this so we have created this mobile app called uh, Metayo Creator for mobile and um, what you need is you need to print out this reference. So because we don't have a stereo camera on the iPhone or anything like that, we need to know the dimensions of things. So this is needed. And you place it somewhere next to what you want to learn about. And then uh, what you do is basically you look at the three-dimensional object and you move the device a little bit from ref, uh, left to right and you see all these white dots is basically something that the computer vision algorithm is seeing right now and from time to time you see that white dots are turning into yellow dots and the yellow ones are actually part, becoming part of the model that is then later used for the augmented reality experience. So it's like learning, right now it's learning all these points as you kind of paint with the tablet, is that what's kind of going on here? Exactly. So I kind of, you know, paint the, the real world, and and the painting is is turned into a computer vision model that is then later used by the system for the augmented reality experience. So currently, this is you know more small scale, but you know as soon as we have, as soon as we know where the camera is, currently we're using the marker for this we can start learning this three-dimensional model. So, uh, you know, any kind of street view data where the position is known can also be directly converted to this uh, tracking model. And, and the good thing is, you know, we're giving this away so that designers, developers can just, you know, take this, take a little bit of time to teach, teach some, some important object they, may, they would like to work with, and then they can use the free SDK to, to add virtual objects to it. Okay. So in, in this case, we created a very simple demo. Um, so in, in this case, we just, you know, you did, you did, we did things like putting a, a burger on top of Burger King or... Okay, I think the other one is still running in the back. Ah, here we go. So now I can take the marker and put it away. I don't need it anymore because I created the model. And now I can look at the real world and I see how these virtual objects are appearing. Like a burger on top of Burger King or there's a... There's an apartment for rent, or there's a parking lot, and there's a few free spaces. I have a few virtual cars and stuff like that. So it's a very simple demo. It's just showing the technology, right? Right. Okay. So this is content that you you previously associated with the the points down here. Yes. The, yeah. Your your creator authorware software basically lets you tie these uh, pieces of digital content to the points that it just learned. Exactly. So, exactly. so anyone could, so for example, a retailer or something could, could map something to a wall inside of their store by scanning their walls or something and then associate certain digital uh, augmented content uh, uh, with that or something. Yeah. So basically we're taking the, the technology away from experts and giving it to designers and the people who are really good at creating wonderful experiences. This is the goal. So, okay. And, and the good, good thing is, and I said that before, it's for free. Right, right. It's for free.